Hey, Latina.com, Brittany Valdez. Right now, I'm backstage at the X Factor live shows where I got a chance to talk to some of your favorite contestants about everything from what the rest of the road guys like in girls and Paul Dini Rubio's dog. What? <gasps> and Ricky Martin connection? <gasps> what am I talking about? When you first started this journey, I'm sure your phone was going crazy with all your notifications, correct? Yes, yes. I had to turn it off for a little while. Um, it was my phone actually broke. The the night of my first audition, you know, I was I had my phone out. You know, we were at a restaurant watching it on TV. All my friends there, and I just set my phone down. You know, my audition happened. I was watching it, and the next thing, my phone started having Tourette's. We went from like I went from like 400 Twitter followers to like 8,000 in the first night. So it was just constantly buzzing. When you're watching your phone, it's like a flipping through your uh, iPod playlist as fast as you can, just watching everything roll in. It was so cool. Tell me about your really awesome judge. My really awesome judge. Bow, bow! She is amazing. So cool. The coolest judge ever and so supportive, you know? Um, what she does with me and the rest of the boys is she encourages us to be ourselves. She she really like gives us great advice, which is awesome. And uh, her dog, I always bring up her dog, I don't know why, but it was so cool because she has got that thing trained. Like, it's nuts. So obedient, so obedient, it's so cool. <laughs> Paulina, we love your dog. What kind of girls are you guys looking for? We're looking for a girl with a great personality, one that wants to have as much fun as we do, and it's just a great time. Yeah, I definitely like it when girls like, you know, laugh a lot, you know, good sense of humor, laugh at my jokes, even when they're not funny, hopefully. <laughs> but yeah, that I like I like senses of humor a lot. And I think like one of the big things, especially now, is just girls just being themselves around us. I mean, I think that that's a big thing. I mean, we're just normal guys. We're regular guys, just like everyone else. Just one way to describe that is I'd rather have a girlfriend that's more of my best friend. We like to keep the the southern gentleman. We like we want to bring that back. Ladies are gonna melt even more. <laughs> like we're definitely the type of guys that'll take you on a date, meet your parents. You yeah. know what I'm saying? On, on the first day, meet your parents on the first day. Yeah. I love girls with attitude. I love. I mean, uh, um, people think I'm weird, but I love crazy girls. I just love a girl that can fight with me. Psycho stalkers. He's pretty calling much, for you. Pretty much. I want a girl to tell me when I'm wrong. Like that right there is amazing. Oh, honey, no problem. We will totally tell you when you're wrong. Hello, because if you know this, this is true. Yes. Girls are always right. See, I like her. Was there anyone last season that really inspired you? I'd say last season my favorite was Fifth Harmony. Fifth Harmony. Fifth Harmony, Fifth Harmony definitely. I love Fifth Harmony. I was a huge Fifth Harmony fan. And her and Camila are identical. They are the same people. So it's, I love her. Yeah. And are they following you guys on Twitter? They are following you on Twitter, right? We've, I think we've got like three out of five. They do send us like good luck videos with some of the producers that they know. And they're like, oh, good luck, Alex and Sierra. And I fan girl. You know, I was just sitting down checking my Twitter looking through it because I already had four four of them uh -huh. and I freaked out like crazy when I got them and then I finally got I saw Ali Hernandez is following you and I was like oh my god. Um, Have you guys gotten any comparisons to Fifth Harmony or anything like that? Yeah, we, we get compared to them every day. I think we, yeah, we definitely, Ooh. oops, sorry. You're good. We definitely get compared to I think Fifth Harmony and Little Mix the most mm -hmm. only because you know you know, they're fans of them. They kind of, they don't want, a, you know, another girl group to take their place. And I think there's room in the market for, yeah. ev for everyone, you know, groups there to was, come. You know, there was Spice Girls, Destiny's Child, TLC, like, they, they all existed the at, the, at the same time. Like, how come we can't coexist, you know? And I think, you know, the more the merrier. Girl power. Like, yeah. Let's take over the world. I remember a couple weeks ago when you used being Latino. <gasps> Paulina, we need some more. Please, please, please. And I think it worked to your advantage. I'm just Thank saying. you. Thank you. I mean, well. I mean, I, I definitely felt like, you know, I need to let her know that, you know, as much as I'm willing to work hard for this and as much as I, that, that this is my passion, and, you know, I feel like in the industry and in, in both sides, you know, in the American industry, there's not enough Latinos at all. Um, I know we definitely have our Prince Royce on the Latino market, um, but other than that, there is no young youth. Um, like artists actually in, in either market. So I want to show her that I can do both, that I'm a hard worker, and that um, you know this is my passion. I put my heart into what I do. I was actually in a Broadway show with Ricky Martin. In the Avita revival, I was the mistress, and he was Che, and he came in after I'd sing my solo, he came and picked me up off the stage every night, walked me off, and 
he's a, a dear friend. So that's my Latina connection. Oh, kind of a big deal right there working with Ricky Martin. Wow. He's amazing. He's such a, re like, just a, such a nice guy. Have you gotten a chance to me uh, meet his kids? Oh, yes. They spend a lot of time at our theater, and they are absolutely precious. They are the cutest little things.